And you're one of the most famous uh, smeared faces in the country. <laughs> That's what they say. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, blurring software on my camera, so we'll just have your I appreciate that. face as is. So. <laughs> Boy, there we go. <laughs> Stand with this man. <laughs> you were out on a Get Out the Vote program for uh, Knock. And we were organized for change. And uh, went, uh, how'd you get involved in that? Um, two years ago, just walked in the door. Uh, needed a job, and I didn't turn back since. I moved, walked in the door. I liked the job, and I kept the job. In, in the recent Get Out the Vote campaign, you were out uh, working in the neighborhood here in North Minneapolis? Uh, of course, uh, North Minneapolis. <laughs> all around the neighborhood, <laughs> probably every door in Minnesota. Why did you get involved in that? Um, like I said, it was two years ago I walked in the door. The reason I got involved too as well, because I want people to know, is uh, fight for your rights, get out and vote. Uh, you should be able to choose who you want to vote, do your research, you know, and be able to choose who you want to vote and not go off everybody else's voting. But if you can't vote, uh, then I can't vote right now, but I'm still fighting and trying to be able to vote for my next president. So you were out working to get out the vote, but you yourself can't vote. A lot of situations too as well, though. Okay, you're still on paper. Well, uh, just basically getting the information so we can be able to hit them up, uh, contact them when it's time to vote and let them know their voting polls they can go to. Um, yeah, so. We have those numbers upstairs somewhere of how many yeah. people Nivelle personally pledged to vote and how many the whole staff did. But um, overall, let me see, the, the whole Canvas crew knocked on over 55,000 doors and pledged over 17,000 voters, totally blowing our goals out of the water, even in spite of all of the <coughs> harassment our staff is dealing with on a daily basis. And um, although voter turnout was down 5.5% throughout the state, throughout Minnesota, compared to the last midterm election, um, in wards 4 and 5 of North Minneapolis and Brooklyn Park, the num which are the, the areas that we were concentrating on, that Nivelle was concentrating on, the number of voters increased by 7%. What kind of a reaction did you get from people? Uh, some people never thought that they can vote at, vote at all, so it was just the reaction was they was happy or they feel powerful now, they can, you know, they can vote. Um, some reactions, some people didn't vote, like, didn't know that they can vote at all. Like 50, 40 years old people, like, so. I just try to get them in the right way and bring them into the office. Did you, um, were you set up to register people here no, in the not office? No, not me, no, no. Yeah. Just probably point them in the right direction, okay. voting for they can go to. Okay, now, Becky, were you set up to register? No, we weren't doing voter registration. We were just pledging people to vote. The mayor came out to join you. Yeah, um, she actually said she wanted to, um, Nivelle to take her out, so I was surprised when she said that. Um, I was very surprised, so I went out and did my job the right way. Um, we did a little documentary as well. Uh, that got like over 300, 400,000 views on it. Um, I'm really proud of myself. I don't regret anything. So. And the mayor is behind us 100%. So. What are you doing these days? Um, basically, I just finished uh, a week of organizing school, um, leadership. So I'm trying to start your own action movement, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think just had a daughter uh, around the time, this so point of gate stuff all happened, so I'm just taking it one day at a time, just living life. I'm still doing what I got to do, uh, staying positive. Mm -hmm. So you're still involved with NOC? Of course. What kind of projects are you working on now? Um, I think it's uh, the police, police brutality. I'm trying to move action with that. Um, we don't know facts right now, but we're going to get into that a little later and talk about that, about mm -hmm. police brutality and mm -hmm. how we should hold them accountable for their actions. Mm -hmm. You don't have to answer this unless you want to, but are you a member of a gang now? No, not at all. Have you ever been? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a member of the knock gang. <laughs> <laughs> it's knocking on doors, you hear me? Um, and organizing and getting more people involved, so if that's what they want to call it. But. Uh, yeah, actually, last night, 
mentioned that you had been stopped in, was it a Cub parking lot? This was during the Get Out the Vote campaign? That, yeah. Uh, um, you want to describe what happened? <laughs> just walking back from my turf, walking back here. It was time to clock out, so walking through the car food parking lot. Uh, I tried to get a couple more people, let them know what's going on and why I have a clipboard in my hand and why you should get out and go for it. Uh, the officer asked me, uh, you don't supposed to be doing this or something. Did you talk to the manager? I told him no. He told me to leave. At the end of the day, he said he stopped me three times and told me three times and warned me. Um, he didn't warn me three times. He warned me one time. Uh, basically, he just attacked me. Like um, I'm standing on the side of a car, talking to ladies about the um, they, I was finished start talking. It didn't even get to like 10 seconds before he, uh, he said, hey, and then I was like this. I was back and back. Once a little step back, like, I ain't getting nothing, brother. Um, he just attacked me and slammed me and said he I was resisting physically arrest. attacked me? Hmm? He physically uh, Yeah, he just grabbed me and slammed me and said I was resisting arrest, threatening the ladies to shoot me and they was getting out the car just to um, see what was going on. Why are you attacking us, brother? That is, you know what I'm saying? Those charges recently just got dropped for trespassing, so. You were trespassing in a cub parking lot? No, I wasn't, but they just fussed past just after that. So. Yeah. You had your uh, clipboard? Of course. You, and you were identified as a, as a volunteer for now? No, I wasn't volunteering. I was on. Um, I mean, a worker. For yeah, now. yeah. Okay. Okay. And what was the disposition of that? Who, who said our huh? What happened as a result of that stop? Uh, uh, we, we, the charges wasn't dropped. Uh, uh, like right then and there for like weeks after we just got it recently dropped like uh four days ago so okay so um, there's nothing pending on that no not at all mm -hmm. we just yeah i told the i told the officer um oh, man we were just at mcdonald's trying to get um get the wage as high to 15 an hour uh, this is totally wrong with your brand and my whole office will be up here and to protest against this and why you are wrong and come to find out, one of the, what was that, she was a manager, she was a member at Knox too as well. So she came out and supported us too as well. Mm -hmm. But it was a lot of us, and we was deep in front of um, Cub School. Okay, well, thank you very much. Well, I appreciate it, brother. Appreciate the chance to talk with you. Thank you, have a blessed day. <laughs> okay. Nice to have a real face. <laughs> <laughs>